Alright y'all, we're back. It's another update on the free-to-play Mystery Shard only account. Let's go ahead and check our soul merchant. We get anything in here? Nope. Um, it is day number 136 and we just got a five-star chicken in the login reward, so that's kind of nice. Um, the main thing we have going on right now is the Newt Fusion, right? Um, we're actually kind of in a little bit of a lull at the moment. Uh, we finished the champ uh, or not the champ training, sorry. We finished the Ice Golem tournament yesterday. Uh, picked up the rare from that. I went a little more than I needed to, but that's fine. I'm probably just going to skip the epic book. I don't need it. And actually, I was curious. How many points would I need to actually... Oh, wow. This isn't as bad as I thought. Looking at this point um, total, it's like almost tempting to try and pick up some of this uh, Relentless gear. Hmm. 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 Maybe we'll. How long do we have? Day and ten hours. Maybe I'll do that. Actually, why not? Um, okay. The other thing we have going on is champ training. <clears throat> like uh, I mentioned, we've picked up sixteen hundred points so far. We should easily be able to get this. We have till tomorrow to get it done. So probably uh, shortly after reset tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow evening, I will spend all the brews I need to get those points. Um, but we'll you know, level up as much as we can before that. The other thing I've been doing for the last few days, or not last few days, but with my energy after I finished uh, that, was, oh, sorry. So we had the Ice Golem tournament and then we also had the Dungeon Divers event, um, which started, or which we finished <laughs> yesterday. Um, and so since then I've been farming some campaign actually, because when I have downtime and I have extra energy, uh, where I don't need it for any current events. Like, we've done everything we need to do for the fusion, and um, there's nothing super important going on. If I haven't already made enough progress on this win campaign battles 500 times quest for the monthly, I like to do it during these champ training events. So I run as few campaigns as possible. I do this on both my main and my alt. I only run the campaign... Um, 500 times for the monthly quest. I don't do any leveling there normally. I level all of my stuff in the different dungeons. Uh, but you do need to get that quest done. So if you've got a champion training tournament and you've got some extra energy going uh, or extra energy that you don't need for anything else, it's a good time to start running some of those missions. So that's what I've been doing. However, um, it's worth pointing out that we do have this next version of the Dungeon Divers starting in 8 hours and 40 minutes. So I am not going to run um, any of my energy refills like this kind of stuff um, or uh, Doom Tower stuff or anything like that until after that event starts, and then we'll probably spend the energy. I think I might actually do this Ice Golem tournament. I, I hadn't been paying attention to this. I didn't realize that we were so close to potentially being able to uh, win the tournament and get some of this uh, Relentless gear. So I might give this a shot and see, um, see how it shakes out, because that would be kind of nice. Um, other things that we have going on is the Artifact Enhancing event, uh, which is... Um, here. So we've got two days, nine hours to finish that. I should be fine. I am going to level up some gear. Uh, I think I'm going to re or not rebuild, but I'm going to build Delaja for the first time. Still haven't built Delaja. She is. So I'm, I'm checking my level 60. So I think I told you guys I, I built rebuilt Armager. So Armager is rebuilt. This Armager number two. Hellfang I need to build and Delaja I need to build. Both level 60s that we've had 60 for a while that we haven't done a lot with. Um, so I'm finally going to get her built out. Um, the thing is, is like we kind of leveled her as a decreased attack champion for like Ice Golem and different Doom Tower stuff and all that kind of thing. And then Artac got announced and I had already like invested a bunch of stuff in her. So I was like, well, I'm going to take her up anyway. But her and Artac have a lot of overlapping roles and we're getting Newt, which also brings in decrease attack. So I don't really need her as much as I thought I did. And um, one of the other things we want to do with her was farm um, Scarab Boss. But we already finished the hardest version that we can unlock of the Scarab Boss right now. Letting Artac solo it, which was... Um, what do we do? We did hard 
50 um, with just this team right here, just Artak and um, Broadmaw. And so I, I don't know. I, I didn't really need her for that. But I do think she would be good. So, um, I, you know, I will build her out to do that um, in the future. But it's just not where we're currently being blocked. We're currently being blocked on Nether Spider. So that's just how it is. But she'll be getting Faction Wars. And, I mean, we've already got her up and ready to go and all mastered. So we might as well um, bring her in. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting I've been thinking about is... Well, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But um, this, her passive that counterattacks, the new Phantom Shogun boss, counterattacks do seem to be reducing the um, the boss's, uh, what is it called? What's that counter? Hold on, let me check real quick. Uh, shade counter, I think is what it's called, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the shade counter. So um, her passive seems like it could actually be kind of interesting there if we have a lizard man be our uh, enfeeble tank. Um, every time it gets hit, she'd have a decent chance of counterattacking, which if we could get any awakenings um, could be kind of interesting. So I don't know, just a thought. Uh, actually, Eris, I think, might be another champion that could be really interesting for that as well uh, because she has that counterattack every time an ally is hit. Um, that seems like it could be really, really strong for uh, for taking down the shade counter uh, on Phantom Shogun. But that's something I want to explore in the future. I still haven't built out the teams I want for Phantom Shogun. I need to do... Um, I, I kind of made like a little calculator thing that I've been working on, but I need to do some more development on it and like build some teams out. I have some ideas, but I just, uh, I've been really busy. I haven't had time to do it. Um, anyway, uh, it might be kind of interesting to bring her in for that. Um, which would be kind of cool because she'll get a lot of extra attacks because that boss is so fast it takes so many turns having something that counterattacks every time um, you know it, it hits not one every time 50% chance to counterattack every time it hits or 100% in Eris's case um, could be kind of interesting actually to get a lot more hits in but we'll see about that that's um, that's not uh, what I'm going to be working on right now um, just yeah the Shogun thing is still a little ways down the road but it's something worth keeping in mind uh, yeah, I guess I just said to say uh, I don't really know where I'm going to use her right now other than Faction Wars. But we are kind of at the point where um, I don't feel like... I don't know. I guess I need some champions for Hydra. Um, and I guess we still need to take down Nether Spider. Nether Spider is tricky, man. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um... I'm just not sure like what champions I actually need to build. But we know Newt's coming, so I'm, I'm prepping for him because I definitely want him. Um, okay, other than that, uh, we'll, we'll rebuild her and we will upgrade all that gear for the Artifact uh, Enhancing Tournament or uh, event, um, which is why I meant to say that. So keep that in mind. We've got, again, two days and nine hours to finish this, so don't wait too long. Um, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. I should have no problem finishing it. I've got 13 million silver so far. Uh, and I think last time I needed like 10 to get it done. Um, so we should be fine. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? Oh, Clan Quest restarted last night. Um, I did not really get uh, any tournament stuff. So I just went ahead and grabbed a bunch of different ones for tag team. Um, my sort of default tag teams will get this done over the next few days. I'm not going to, like, make the specialized, because if you remember, I have all these, like, specialized teams to specifically get this stuff done. But, I, I mean, it's going to happen by default anyway. Uh, it's just going to be slow, because I only have, like, one team out of the three that puts up increased defense, stuff like that. But since we're in a permanent clan now, it's not really an issue. We'll get that done as it gets done. Um, and that's been pretty good. Uh, made some progress over here on um, Forge Pass. Uh, let's see. Actually, I didn't check. Well, we have no clan gold. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just going to go for the Akarl Fragments again and the accessories. We do have Hydra resetting in 12 hours, so we'll get the Hydra chest tomorrow uh, and get some more clan gold from that as well, which we'll want to spend. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, the other major thing. I keep forgetting to talk about this. I mean, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. The other major thing that we have going on is I'm really, really trying to get the referrals done before the champ chase, uh, or which starts this weekend, I think. So I've made a lot of progress. We've got this account here, which you can't see because my camera is in the way. 
Uh, we're at level 39 on this one here, so I'm pushing it super hard. I mean, they have all the resources to get it done. It's just about literally finding the time because it's like 24 hours of just like farming the campaign. So I've been actually leaving my main computer up uh, playing these accounts with RSL helpers so they can just spam and then I'm using my laptop to play my main account since that requires a lot less interaction. Previously I was running um, running these on the, the laptop and actually like manually pressing the button over and over again which is pretty annoying. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm pushing super hard. We'll get this one done. I'm hoping tonight and then I just have one more to do and we should be good to go. So um, I think I mentioned this yesterday, or at least the other day, last time I talked about this, but now's a really good time to do this because you get Artac and you get a ton of energy from the Call of Arbiter, so it's really easy to get these accounts up to level 40. You, It's more about time than it actually is about like logging in every day um, because I guess it depends on how much you can play, but you just get so much energy to start out right now that it's quite the boost. So, yeah. Um, all right, let's pick this up. Regular pack. Uh, the other thing is I have all of these champions sitting here in my um, in my vault. You can see I've been farming the campaign. Oh, hey, look, we have another uh, War Baden. Nice, pick that up. Yeah, I need to I need to clear all this stuff out. We also will get our Dark Alhane. I don't think any of these are going to count for the champ chase, but it doesn't hurt to wait until then to pull them out. So we'll do that. All right. Anything else we want to talk about? Getting very close to getting actually two affinity bonuses in the Great Hall. I don't know why I haven't spent this yet. I just guess I don't really need the resistance at the moment. Honestly, I can't wait to be able to put a little bit of resistance into Void for my Arbiter, um, which might help in Ice Golem. Now that I think about it, but we'll do that later. Um, getting yeah, a couple, like two more days, and we'll be able to get this done, which will be nice to max that out. And that will be really, really helpful because getting enough resistance and accuracy is like the big challenge for getting um, getting Pronam to solo the uh, Phantom, or not the Phantom Jogan, the um, Sand Devil. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, I, I don't. It's going to be a struggle to get the gear, but I really, really want to be able to get that done. It would be really nice um, to be able to farm. Sand Devil on a high level. Speaking of Sand Devil, we do have this Sand Devil uh, turn attack thing going on right now. Um, this seems pretty decent. I mean, I think I'm going to go for it on my main because I like to do a lot of Sand Devil farming anyway. Um, and it's basically based on how many turns it takes. You get points based on how many turns. The fewer turns, the more points you get per run. Um, uh, Saf did a whole breakdown on this on the HH Gaming Network channel that you can look at. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've just been running it on my main. It seems reasonable. But I'm not going to do it on this account because I think um, can't farm high enough level Sand Devil and I just need to focus on other things. And the uh, the souls are just not... I mean, I don't know. Like, these things are so bad. Like, it's crazy. <sighs> just, like, this whole system. Like, I like the system, but especially, like, the... I think, honestly, my biggest gripe with the system is how little these souls sell for. I think they need to sell for a lot more to make getting essence more reasonable so you can target uh, the different things you want because it's uh, it's rough out there. But, um, yeah. All right, that's going to be it for now. Uh, I'm just going to, like I said, wait until the Dungeon Divers event starts before claiming any of my refills. Um, and we'll start cracking probably some more Ice Golem. I'll check tomorrow on how we're doing on the Ice Golem tournament if I think there's any possibility we can get first or second place and pick up some more Relentless gear because I do love to get Relentless gear whenever I get the opportunity, and people generally don't like to farm Ice Golem that much, so it can often be a good tournament to pick up that extra Relentless. Uh, so we'll see. Oh, wait, did that guy already get up? Oh, no, never mind. Um, yeah, we'll see, and uh, tomorrow we'll go ahead and run that and get the points for the dungeon divers but i think we're coming along pretty nicely oh, i guess i should mention let's see how are we actually doing on all of this so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine of the rares so far we need 12 total we've got one of the voids let's see where do we get the rest of the voids so that'll be another one. Oh, this is a this is a different event dude that glyph is tempting but um yeah, I'm, I have to check the schedule to see where we pick up the, the voids, but that's the main thing. And they're all, they're, you know, mostly level 40. Like, well, let's see, how many of these? Seven of them are already level 40. 
We'll probably try and get these up to level 40 this weekend so we can fuse at least two of the epics. I'm not sure if we can fuse all three, but let's see. What will we need to do to fuse three? That's a good thing to know. So the Artifact Enhancement will get us one, and then that'll put us at 10. This Dungeon Divers will put us at 11. And then Classic Arena's Takedown will put us at 12. So in theory, if we can get all this stuff done pretty quickly, it might be a challenge. But if we can get it done all pretty quickly, we can um, fuse all three of the epics for the Champion Chase Tournament. Let me double check that in the list. Is that really true? Oh, I think my Discord crashed. Oh. All right, uh, we'll have to look at that later. Um, yeah, uh, definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, you can get extra points by fusing the epics if you have that ready by the time the Champion Chase Tournament starts. All right, that's going to be it. I'll see you all later. Cheers.